Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to recognize a Fibonacci sequence. Here's an example of a Fibonacci sequence, but let's suppose we don't know if it's linear or exponential or what. Our first approach might be to try to see if it's linear. So 5 minus 2 is a difference of 3. 7 minus 5 is a difference of 2. So that says it's not linear because it's not the same difference. 5 divided by 2, let's check and see if it's exponential. So 5 is 2 and a half times bigger than 2. 7 divided by 5, well, 7 is only 1.4 times bigger than 5. So because these two ratios are not the same, we know that it's not exponential. So another thing to try is to see if it's a Fibonacci sequence. So let's just continue with the difference pattern. 12 minus 7 is 5. The difference between 19 and 12 is 7. So you may be able to see that this 2, this 5, this 7, we're just seeing that pattern shifted by 1. So what has happened is the 2 and the 5 were added to get 7. The 5 and the 7 were added to get 12. The 7 and the 12 were added to come up with a sum of 19. So once we recognize that pattern, we can continue that pattern to find the others. So 31 plus 50 equals 81. And I can add my 50 plus my 81 and get 131. And I can continue that sequence. Let's try another example. Let's check to see if it's linear. 6 minus 2 is 4. 8 minus 6 is 2. Not the same difference, so it's not linear. 6 divided by 2 is 3 meaning 6 is 3 times bigger than 2. Well, 8 divided by 6, you can probably already see that 8 is not 3 times bigger than 6. It's 1 and a third times bigger. So it's not exponential because these ratios are not the same. But 2 plus 6 is 8. 6 plus 8 is 14. 8 plus 14 is 22. So I can continue the sequence. 22 plus 36 would give me 58. 36 plus 58 gives me 94. And so forth. Well, how would you... I mean, how, how could a Fibonacci sequence be useful? Well, here's an example of Fibonacci numbers. 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. Laid out in squares that have those dimensions of 1 by 1, 2 by 2, 3 by 3. And you can see that a, a square that is 3 by 3, the side of that is just as long as a block of 1 stack, stacked with a block of 2. Well, that same thing happens with the 3 plus the 2 is 5. The 5 plus the 2 is the 8. And then if I connect those squares from corner to corner with kind of a swooping fashion, they make a spiral that is similar to a shell. Some kinds of shells naturally grow this way. It's been observed that galaxies have a similar shape as they spiral. So that leads mathematicians to think that there are things in nature that can be modeled with a Fibonacci sequence. Anyways, that's how you would recognize a Fibonacci sequence. Start out with trine linear. Try exponential. Try to see if the two numbers previous add up to the number that you, to the third number. That's how you would recognize a Fibonacci sequence.